Hello there. Welcome to that Japanese Man Utah podcast. It's half past 3 p.m., so for once I'm not doing this late at night. I have very minor, almost no news.、Uh, I was very briefly on BBC World News TV yesterday. Very briefly, maybe less than a minute. Because a guy from BBC contacted me、uh, via Twitter and he asked if I would like to be on BBC and talk about the ISIS hostage situation. And it was an interesting experience because it was my first time、uh, being on TV. I thought I would be able to talk a little more, but you know, I didn't have much time, so I don't think I said anything too interesting. If I had known, I would have thought more what to say beforehand. But anyway, that was about the ISIS hostage situation. And there's a lot to talk about.、Uh, currently, it's January 31st, 2015. So we don't know what's happening right now. Let me just check the news. So we don't know what happened to the Japanese journalist, Mr. Goto, or the Jordanian pilot. And also, the reaction of Japanese people to,、uh, to the situation is quite interesting.、Uh, you know, there's a lot of things going on, like the. I think you guys have seen the images of the ISIS guy、uh, between、uh, two Japanese hostages and people making funny images based on the image. And I think Western media tend to see it as a new form of protest, but in Japan, it's more like just kids having fun with,、uh, with an intense situation. And there's a lot of criticism within Japan. And people who make those Images are mostly not very political. It's just、uh, they seem to be what we call otaku, a nurse. They make a lot of collages based on many different images, mostly taken from Japanese、um, animated TV series. So I have an impression that for them,、uh, this ISIS image is just one of those images that they can、uh, play with. So Uh, there's a massive gap how those images are portrayed in Japan and in the West. Anyway, one of the reactions I would like to shine the spotlight on, on in this episode is that there seem to be many Japanese people who think, who almost、uh, blame the hostages of, for、uh, going to the unsafe place. For them, it's like they, they, they knew that it's going to be dangerous to you know, visit、uh, the place. So they, should have, they shouldn't have done that in the first place. And it's their responsibility that they are in the situation they are currently in. That's not my opinion. That's what they say, or what some people say, not all the people. And then they blame the hostages for. Causing trouble for people in Japan. Now, this expression, causing trouble for people, it's,、uh, in Japanese, it's meiwako kakeru. And this expression is very, very, very frequently used in Japan, not just for this situation, but people say that all the time in many situations. For example, when a celebrity Gets drunk and g e t into a fight, and later he apologizes. And when he apologizes, often he says something like, I'm sorry for causing trouble for people. And what he means is not just the people who were involved in the fight, but、uh, for example, people in his production company who had to do a lot of stuff to, you know,、uh, Make up for the incident, and probably people who were slightly affected by the incident. And this is somewhat understandable, but the truth is, I really don't like this expression causing trouble. Because, for example, I hear a lot of Japanese parents say、uh, when they are asked, for example, like, 
what what kind of people they want their children to be. Many parents, Japanese parents, say something like, "I don't really have any specific ideas of what my children should do, as long as they don't cause trouble for people." Or maybe they specifically say, "I want my son to be somebody who doesn't cause trouble for people." And I just hate it when I hear that kind of stuff because it's so passive. I mean, you you can wish a lot of stuff for your children. You could say something like, "I want my son to be somebody who has who can change the, you know, uh, th- uh, things, change things in a positive way. Who can contribute to the society in a positive way." You could say something like, "You know, I want my son to be." Somebody who who makes an effort to be somebody great, or you could say something like, "I want my son to be a great leader," or "I want my son to be somebody who helps people." And amongst all the possible things that you can say, they say, "I want my son to be somebody who doesn't cause trouble for people." I mean, don't get me wrong; there are many、uh, be- beautiful things that. Japanese people say, for for example, you could say like you know,、um, I want my son to be somebody who is considerate, you know, who can understand other people's pain, or like who can who can think of how other people feel. That's a very positive thing. I you know I appreciate people who are considerate, but I have a problem with this expression not causing people trouble. Because I feel like it, it's it kind of like、uh, discourages people from taking a risk, for example. Because when you want to do something meaningful, sometimes you know you you have to cause trouble for people, and it can be something like、uh, possibly disastrous. But when you want to make a substantial change, sometimes you have to take the risk. And go for it. And I would rather say something like, "I want my son to be somebody, you know, who can do, who can take a risk, and other people don't mind being troubled because what he does is very, very important, meaningful." So coming back to the hostage situation, I completely disagree with. Blaming、uh, the, the journalist, for example, because I think what he does is very meaningful, and people say like he caused them trouble. But just think about it. I mean, what kind of trouble they 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 have to suffer? Just so、no, just watch TV and you know just criticize people, and they might feel slightly disturbed by the image, and that's pretty much it. I think what Mr. Goto is trying to do is much more meaningful, and I mean, like he might have misjudged the the, the risk and the situation he was、uh, he was getting into. But everybody makes a mistake, and when you want to achieve something great, sometimes you have to take the risk. And I don't think it's fair for people to blame him, you know, from a very safe place. Of course, that doesn't mean the Japanese government has to do everything that、uh, the kidnapper asks for, but at least it's it's just a matter of respect. So I think whatever happens, we should respect people who who are trying to do something, you know, who tried to make changes, who tried to help people who who are suffering from、uh, a tough situation, and that's. How I feel,、uh, I don't know. So, what, what do you guys think? Just,、uh, I'm very curious, you know, about、uh, hearing what you guys think. So, if you are watching this on YouTube, you can just leave a comment, and if you are not, you can go to yutaoki.com/podcast. It's yutaoki.com/podcast. All right, I guess that's it for today, and see you guys later. Ciao, ciao.